To access information on fecal indicator bacteria levels in Lake St. Clair and the Clinton River, click on the Monitoring Data link via the Data Gateway link. You can look at fecal indicator bacteria levels by sampling date or by sampling location. If you would like to look at a specific date, use the calendar feature. On the calendar, dates in yellow indicate a storm event, while blue dates indicate routine sampling days. By clicking on a date, a pop-up window will appear. The graph displays fecal indicator bacteria counts for each site. On each axis of the graph, there are sliding bars. You can slide the bars up or down to change the scale of the graph. Sliding the bars on the x-axis will increase or decrease the distance from site A1, while sliding the bars on the y-axis increases or decreases the number of organisms per 100 milliliters of water. The graph legend can be used to select or unselect data measurements. For example, select or unselect the MPN undiluted sample category to view the most probable number of E. coli organisms in an undiluted 100 milliliter sample of lake water. To find the definition of each measurement, hover your cursor over each measurement category. By hovering the cursor over a data point on the graph, you can view the specific data set for that site. For example, by hovering over the data point for site C2 on May 6th, you can see that our sample has zero colony forming units, or CFUs, per 100 milliliters of lake water, while the most probable number of organisms per 100 milliliters was 13.2. These numbers differ because the most probable number is calculated statistical estimate of E. coli organisms in the water, while colony forming units are counted directly from our water samples.